guys good morning today i'm going to be showing you how to prepare your irish sea moss sea moss is amazing because it provides 92 of all of the 102 minerals that your body needs this is the elixir of life guys so in this video i'm going to be blending it and showing you how i do that using the raw dried form of sea moss. I will explain the steps needed to prepare the soaked sea moss overnight. So um, first off, you're gonna want to um, find a sustainable quality source of sea moss. I have a few sources. One is a woman online who lives in Florida and she sources it sustainably from the Caribbean. If you're in America, I know that sea moss, the closest sea moss is um, in near the Caribbean. Um, but I, luckily for me, I just got off the boat from Bali and there's an incredible place in Ubud that is called Sayuri, Sayuri Healing Foods. It's an amazing restaurant and they actually sell Irish moss and I asked them because I, I've known that they've had this for years. I've always got mine there. And they actually source their sea moss off the coast of um, Nusa Limbogin, like off the coast of Bali in the neighboring um, islands. So this is what the sea moss looks like um, dried and you know, it's all like, it's really, um, salty and dirty. So it's going to expand when it's in the water. So I did like a good handful of this sea moss. You can do more, you can do less, but I want to keep it fresh. You can obviously do more and keep, um, I've blended like this whole bag before and it probably made about two quart size ball jars of sea moss so there was a lot and i basically just froze it froze one of the jars and kept another one in the fridge so this is like a handful of sea moss dried sea moss i have put it in water with my handy handy dandy combing water machine and i just let it soak overnight so you can see how you know you have a lot of sediments it's gonna be really salty and dirty, this water, but I'm gonna rinse it out and clean it now. And um, you can always put um, crystals and, you know, just to really charge the sea moss up if, if you're into that type of thing. So um, what I'm gonna do now is just rinse it out because this has been sitting all night. So I'm gonna rinse it out, get all the sand out, just really clean it, and then I'll check back in. Giving it a nice good rinse. Nice rinse. <laughs> Alright, so I have my wash sea moss. There's no more sand, it's all clean. Um, and now I'm just going to blend it. So get your blender, any blender works. And just kind of throw it in there. You're gonna want a sort of gel-like consistency. So start with a little bit of water and you can always add more, um, but you can't take out water. So start with like, I mean, I usually just do it by eye. So I'm gonna add maybe like a couple tablespoons. However much water I put in will be how much gel there will be. So there, I just, just a little bit this time. So I kind of just did like this much. Mm, you can see that. And go ahead and blend. <clears throat> and you can always add um, really anything you want. I love the flavor of the sea moss raw. But I've seen people add mango. I've seen people add, I've added spirulina before. In Bali, I had uh, fresh spirulina. 
So I added spirulina to it. I just sometimes add cinnamon to it and it's really nice. You can add chlorophyll. You can really go any direction. Like the world is your oyster. <laughs> so, um, but I'm just gonna do it raw. Today, maybe add a little cinnamon, let's see. Make sure your blender is plugged in. This is looking good. Mmm, it smells so nice. Simos is amazing because it provides 92 of all of the 102 minerals that your body needs. This is the elixir of life. And the thing with, with Simos, like I really don't think you can have too much of it. Like I take a couple tablespoons every day. I'm going to prepare my jar to put this in. Here's my jar. I really encourage you guys to have fun with this and really take any direction you like. Once you get the hang of it, you know, you can maybe feel quite bold and courageous to add some strawberries, add some raspberries. Um, but I honestly, I don't know how you are, but I love the taste of it as it is. I, I call this mermaid food because it, it really does feel like like mermaid food <laughs> and the sea is our source the sea is our like where we came from the sea contains all the minerals and vitamins that i feel like we've we've become um we've lost touch with and so eating sea moss eating spirulina foods from the sea, seaweeds and kelp. This is why Japanese have such an incredible, you know, their health is thriving because they consider um, these types of foods. Um, kelp, seaweeds, mosses, um, fermented foods, also a really important one. There it is. So let's taste it with my handy dandy spoon. This is just raw. I didn't blend anything with this. Um, just sea moss and kangen water. Mm. It's so raw. It's so good. It's mermaid food. I love it like this. It's gonna acquire a taste. You're still like getting used to it. Feel free, add some fun things into it. Um, I recommend mango or cinnamon or chlorophyll is nice because it gives it a little minty flavor. But other than that, like, I mean, if you're blending it in your smoothies, you won't really taste it. Um, but I love the taste of it. So I'm just going to eat it like this. <laughs> Sometimes I just eat it like this out of the jar, like from the fridge. So I'll refrigerate this and, and this should, I mean, this should do probably for the week for me. Let's see. But thanks for joining me guys. Um, enjoy, happy eating CMOS. Make sure to do your research. Um, Dr. Sebi is the pioneer of the man who brought CMOS to the world. More minerals, more foods, more kelps all from the sea. And just go back to source. Eat, eat foods from where we came from. Cheers.